New at five, we've learned the name of the West Warwick man who was killed after police say he crashed his truck into a home at a high rate of speed. And Eyewitness News was first on the scene around 1.30 this morning in the Arctic section of West Warwick. New tonight, police are identifying the driver as 33-year-old Michael Golding. We've learned the crash happened just moments after a brief police pursuit. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with the latest developments. Kim? Well, Stephen Shannon, we spoke with multiple eyewitnesses today, and they tell us they heard or saw that truck traveling at a high rate of speed in the moments leading up to that deadly crash. This was the scene on West Warwick's Andrews Avenue early Thursday morning. Police say the driver of a white pickup truck was traveling at a high rate of speed before slamming into the home at the corner of Andrews and Wood Street. We've now learned 33-year-old Michael Golding was the man behind the wheel. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Neighbors say they heard the impact. And then I heard a noise of the vehicle hitting something. I thought it was hitting the car and I was parked in the road, but there's no metal on metal. So I knew it was something else. We've learned the crash happened just moments after Coventry police called off a brief pursuit with Golding. As I was walking out of my house, I happened to see a car go flying by and there was a couple of cops. Coventry police say they spotted Golding driving erratically and at a high rate of speed near the intersection of Washington Street and Laurel Avenue. An officer pursued him for about a half mile to the West Warwick line. Moments later, this surveillance video appears to show Golding's truck speeding down Andrews Avenue. No one inside the home was hurt. The house has been condemned and the five residents are now staying elsewhere. And police say excessive speed was a factor in this crash. Coming up new at 6, we'll hear from a friend of Michael Golding, who's now remembering the 33-year-old. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.